In this video, we will see the GPAT 2018 questions from the biochemistry. First question. Match the following enzymes in column 1 with their respective functions under column 2. So column 1, 1, TNA ligase, 2, alkaline phosphatase, and 3, reverse transcriptase, and 4, polynucleotide kinase. And column 2. A. Synthesize a DNA copy of RNA and B. Forms a bond between 3 hydroxyl group and 5 dash phosphate group. And option C. Removes terminal phosphate from the 3 dash or 5 dash end of the DNA. And D. Adds phosphate to the 5 dash OH end. The options are A, B, C and D with these combinations. Now the right answer here is option C. Let us go for the explanation and we will see what is the role of the each end enzyme and how they can match with the column 2. So let us start with first enzyme DNA ligase. So suppose a DNA strand is having the OH group free OH group. Now this is a 3 dash OH group and another DNA strand is having the phosphate end. Now, this is a 5 dash phosphate group. Now, when both are going to be combined by one of the enzymes, they produce a DNA strand with a phosphate linkase. Now, this is mediated by DNA ligase. So, DNA ligase will connect the 3 dash OH group with the 5 dash phosphate groups between the two DNA strands. Next, let us go for the other enzymes. For example, DNA strand is having the free phosphate group. Now, this phosphate group is going to be cleaved by alkaline phosphatase to the DNA strand with free OH group. Alkaline phosphatase removes the phosphate group pro to produce a free OH group on the DNA strand. The OH group that is produced may be either 3 dash or 5 dash OH group. On the other hand, if the DNA strand is having the OH group, now one of the enzyme polynucleotide kinase can act on this OH group. Now this OH group is a 5 dash OH group. By action of this enzyme, now this 5 dash free OH group is coming to 5 phosphate end. Right? So polynucleotide kinase will add the phosphate group and alkaline phosphatase will remove the phosphate group. Now the last enzyme is the reverse transcriptase. RNA can be converted into DNA by a viral enzyme, reverse transcriptase enzyme, which is mainly present in the HIV virus. So, this enzyme can prepare a DNA copy from the RNA copy. So, option C is the right answer for the given question. Next question, which of the following replacement of amino acid in a protein may produce greatest change in its conformation? First one, A, serine to threonine, B, glutamine to valine, and D, glycine to tyrosine, and D, phenylalanine to the isoleucine. So, when you will observe a greatest change in the its conformation, when one amino acid is uh, having the non-polar side chain, and another amino acid is having polar side chain. Otherwise, first one is having polar, and another one is having non-polar. When they are having the different side chains, the what of this polarity is uh, suddenly changed so there is a change in its uh, conformation so here the right answer is uh, option b glutamine to valine so let us see the explanation for this for example serine to threonine this is the serine structure and this is the threonine structure and if you observe the side chain of the serine is having the oh group as well as threonine is also having the OH group. There is no significant change in the polarity when serine is replaced with the threonine. Now let us the conversion of the glycine to the tyrosine. So this is the glycine structure and this is the tyrosine structure. So glycine is the first amino acid having no uh, side chain that is it simply having the hydrogen as the side chain. But tyrosine is having the benzyl group as the side chain. So both are uh, having the non-polar side chain thereby they does not produce a greatest change in the conformation. Next one, phenylalanine to the isoleucine. So this is a phenylalanine structure 
and this is the isoleucin structure. So phenylalanine is having a relatively non-polar group as well as isoleucin is also having a non-polar group. So a greatest conformational change is not observed with phenylalanine to the isoleucin. But if you compare the glutamine to the valine, now the glutamine is having this structure and valine is having this structure. Now glutamine is having a polar amide functional group and valine is having only alkyl non-polar group. So this polar amide group is converted into a non-polar functional group then a greatest conformational change is observed in the protein structure. So glutamine and valine will produce a greatest conformational change. They are not equivalent and they cannot produce a same polarity in the protein structure. So glutamine to valine is the right answer for this question.